Have you ever had your heart set on something, a vision so clear you could almost touch it, only to have life throw you a curveball? That was me, on a quest for the perfect puppy. But as it turns out, sometimes the journey to puppy love comes with unexpected lessons in integrity, alignment, and letting go. Stick with me here. I've got a great episode for you. Hey there, I'm Katie Joy, the Global Butterfly, founder of theglobalbutterfly.com and the Awaken with Love and Rise with Pure Joy podcast. Well, isn't she beautiful? Meet Bella Joy. And she is so peaceful and loving and she's ready for a little nap. But I wanted to share a story with you that happened just this week that I've been sharing with my clients. And I thought, oh my goodness, not only do I want to introduce you to the newest member of our family, but to also give you some insights about the journey. So have you ever had your eyes set on a goal or an outcome, a vision, and you were so close to the line, but then felt great disappointment and wondered if it was ever going to happen? Well, that was us this week, and I'm going to share with you the power of staying true to not only your vision, but your values, your principles, and making sure that you make decisions in alignment with that so that you also experience peace and harmony and get what you want without compromise in those values. So on Friday, Saturday, I actually had my eyes set on another puppy and he was a little male miniature poodle. The seller was a breeder of uh, a breed, we'll leave it there, and wanted to on sell a new puppy because it wasn't, uh, it was a miniature poodle. It wasn't ripe for breeding, so to speak. It wasn't primed for breeding, um, but great as a pet. And I knew what the condition was, but I'd asked a lot of questions, but I realized the morning of Tuesday, when I'd taken my son out of school, ready to go get this puppy, I had been restless with some ideas of, there is just some questions I haven't asked yet that I need to ask. And so I gave the the breeder a quick call. She wasn't the original breeder of this particular dog. But I asked some very fair questions, you know, due diligence. Who's the original breeder? Uh, do you have proof of purchase? Do you um, know any of the health conditions? Have you taken this dog to the vet to be able to get confirmation? And refused to give me any information on the original breeder because of her own deception on how she got the dog, intending to use it to breed, but told the breeder it was for a pet. And didn't want to have that contact. So straight away, being honest, telling me about her dishonesty was a big red flag for me because it meant like, well, if you're willing to lie to get what you want, then you're willing to lie to me. So it mutes any other answers because I can't trust it, right? Have you ever had that experience yourself? So as much as we were already attached, I meant mentally to the idea of having this other little dog uh, we were willing to let it go and to say, you know, not the right dog for us. And as disappointing as that was, it was a great lesson for my son. Um, we both sat with the emotions and, and sitting with it. It's almost like a sense of grief when you have this idea that you already got it and then you don't. And so we actually went and saw a movie called Runt, which is a, an Australian-based movie about a little dog. And the parallel journey in there about how in the journey, how they are cheated or deceived, but win in the end. It was just so perfect for us in the lessons. So anyway, Wednesday morning, I had a tradesperson come to my home and my mum popped in randomly to drop off some eggs. She has chooks. Chickens in Australia is chooks uh, for my uh, friends overseas. So we... um. I was telling her about the disappointment and the difference in uh, getting another dog. And I decided I wanted a female puppy instead of a male puppy. And uh, my mum said, well, you know, I'll contribute to get to help get a new puppy now. And we looked online and there happened to be a breeder with toy poodles 10 minutes away from me with one female ready to go and two other females on Monday if we chose one of those. So I went and used that opportunity of synchronicity showing up, called the the breeder who was available at 10.30, which was 40 minutes later. 
Um, and that was the only time of the day available. And mum was at my home. So she said she'd stay while the um, tradesperson was here. And I popped out to pick up my son and surprise him so he could go select a puppy. And to his delight, he and Bella met each other spontaneously and they were hooked. And it turns out she was the one ready to go. So I just wanted to share this journey and story with you that while you might face disappointment sometimes in not getting what you want immediately, I wasn't willing to uh, trade off my values of transparency, honesty and open communication for convenience of having a dog now. And so I ended up, we ended up getting the most beautiful puppy, more designed, more suitable for us. And uh, she's just a delight. And any reservations that I had about the fear of having a dog just instantly dissolved after making that leap and stepping into it and just experiencing her. And sometimes that's another lesson insight for you as well. When sometimes you have your dreams and your goals and you're a bit nervous, you're not sure about like, oh my God, but what does it mean? You know, for me, it was like a commitment. And also what if I can't travel and things like that. But all of those I looked at and I looked at the opportunities of what could I do to overcome those challenges. And not only did it help me make my decision in the type of breeder dog, but also have conversations with people who are already putting their hands up to puppy sit and dog sit whenever we need some help. So it's having that community around us as well. So I hope that inspires you today with a little bit of puppy love, but also using the lessons from the journey of when you have a goal, by the way, she was a dream and a vision for a solid four years for us. Um, and just it, the right divine timing and it was about to activate and it all happened very fast, but only in the divine timing. And so it's the same true with your vision of your dreams and then your goals. Be fixed on the outcome of what you want, but let go of how it shows up. Was this of great value for you today? And if she's just so cute and you adore dogs too, give some puppy love down below. Did you value the insights from this from this journey as well? And while you're here, if you'd love to have some help uh, and grab my free copy of my 33-page workbook, which is Setting Your Intentions, Clarify Your Goals to Create Your Best Year Yet, which will help you design your life and live your dreams in accordance with your values, your vision, and your goals and increase the joy in your life too. You can get the link down below in the description down below. Go get your free copy. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go put her to bed. She's ready. Aww. Bye for now. See you on the next episode.